In this video, I'm not giving you any actual instructions yet, but I'm going to share with you a philosophy of mine I call Good Enough Crafts, which I hope will free you up to make anything you can imagine. Nearly a decade ago, I made a video about how to make a paper bag. It was a trial run for a podcast I was doing about how to make and self-publish novels, and it was intended to be posted on my website, but I stuck it on YouTube and never looked at it again. Little did I know, a whole bunch of people watched it, or at least the first 30 seconds of it, and some left some really nice comments, which I, like an ass, never responded to because I didn't know they were there. So if you're one of those people and somehow you've come back here after all that time, thank you. Uh, a lot's happened since I made that video. I've, I've written and self-published four novels, and <clears throat> I'm now a professional cartoonist, which is what I most wanted to be when I was a kid. So over the past couple of years, I've made a comic book series, which you can read on the Global Comics website. I also have print versions of it on my own website. I make a lot of stuff, and most of it just for me. I think of things that I want, but they're either not available or they're not quite what I need. So over time, I've just learned to make my own versions of these things, like sketchbooks or notebooks or planners. And this morning, I made myself this slide pillow because I wanted something I could cuddle at night to keep me on my side so I wouldn't drive my husband to distraction by snoring. I'm lousy at sewing. Most of the sewing I do is just fixing dog toys. But even at my very basic level, I can make stuff that I want, like that pillow. So here are some things that I carry in my pockets every day, all of which I've made, and I will show you on this channel how to make like a wallet or a folder full of planning tools, a zine with my goals for the year, a change purse. No, actually, I'm not going to show you how to make that because it involves a zipper and zippers are from hell. There are people much more qualified who can show you how to do that. Uh, also, a pocket notebook for catching ideas in. Everything that I make, I never want to buy another one of those things again. I love these things. And, and, and being surrounded by things that I've made just feels wonderful. And, and people are kind of wound by it, I guess, because we live in a world where folks are just not encouraged to do this or have generally forgotten that they're allowed to make basic things for themselves. But here's the thing, is I'm terrible at following instructions. Um, when I lived in Edinburgh, I remember there was a bookbinder there who'd studied with a, a, a master in Florence, Italy, and her books were perfect. The edges were straight, they even, they lined up without being trimmed. I can't remember if they were gilt edged or not, but I'm picturing them as having gold edges. Mine, by contrast, are a dog's breakfast. But here's the thing, I use them. If they were perfect, I, I wouldn't want to spoil them. I'd be so intimidated about making them that I probably wouldn't even have started. So I want to introduce you to my concept of good enough crafts. I want you to be able to just think about a thing and jump in and have it at your current level of skill. I didn't make a video about that pillow because I didn't know if it was going to turn out. And I made it with a zipper from a rice bag, some fabric from Michael's, uh, stuffing from a torn pillow, and I made the slip cover from a torn sheet. I love saving things from becoming waste because if I'm making stuff out of garbage, it's not much of a loss if it doesn't work out. This isn't it about meeting external standards or worrying about making perfect products. It's about making things that are good enough for you to use the hell out of them and enjoy them and falling in love with the process of creating to the point that when it comes time to make things for others, you're more concerned about sharing that essence of your creative energy than you are about attaining some imaginary level of perfection. So this YouTube business has evolved a lot since I made my paper bag video. It's gone from home movies to like television production. So I'm going to be finding my feet with it for a while and learning in public in front of you. But I hope you'll stick with me because I want to share with you what I've learned about making creative work day to day and daily use objects for myself and for other people. And I promise I won't disappear for another decade again, and I will engage this time. 
So I hope that you leave comments and say whatever questions you have or things that you would like me to create a video for. But here's the thing is I want to just give, not take. I have work that I love and I'm not doing this to monetize you on YouTube. I find that stuff gross and I'm sure you've had your fill of it too, just like I have. So like and subscribe, I don't care. You don't have to do it, but I hope you come back because I'd love to hang out and make stuff together with you. So until next time, happy making.